Anna Marie and Duncan are putting too much ahead of themselves. This is reflected in the state of their master bedroom. It has become a catch-all for just about everything. It can be frustrating because it's less of a bedroom, it's just a place that has stuff in it. My goal is to bring them together to get this space and their relationship back on the priority list. The clutter frustrates Duncan. I don't think he feels very comfortable coming in and spending time in here. I would like to change that because I love my husband. Anna Marie knows where approximately where things are, so if I start moving stuff around, then she won't know where stuff is. And so I think everything needs a place. As a couple, I would love to have this room back in a way that we could really just want to spend time in here. This bedroom is a great size, but there's just too much stuff in here. We've got shopping and toys, artwork, none of this stuff belongs in a bedroom. We've got magazines and books without a home, gotta solve that. And this closet, just too full. All of this stuff, bye-bye. The plan for today is to sort and purge the bedroom. I'm going to have Clutter Crew clear the space. While they do that, I'm going to deal with the stuff around the bed. Anne Marie, I see you've got a lot of magazines beside your bed. Is this your side? Yes. I guess that. So you like to read in bed? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Well, we'll have to come up with a better solution than having all these magazines piled on the floor where you're tripping over them. Magazines should be purged every three months. You can free up guilt, space, and time by cancelling or redirecting your subscription to a friend. I think we basically got everything that was under the bed. This is actually a beautiful bed. I think we're going to keep this. You guys like this bed? Love this bed. Just to get the ball rolling, I'm going to have Anna Marie tackle her wardrobe. I suspect it's as dated as some of those old magazines. What I'd like you to do is go through and pull out anything that you haven't worn in the last year. And if you're not sure about something, pull it out and we'll discuss it. You can improve the flow of your closet with a few simple solutions. Separate clothing by category for easier access. Keep a bin handy for easy purging. And store seasonal wear away from current garments. A rule of thumb is to purge twice a year during the change of seasons. I like it, but I think it's gotten a bit small. I agree. Working for you? Working for you. Okay, so keep her? I think so. All right. Well, I feel like I'm ready to go line dancing. <laughs> is that what you want to feel? I don't really go line dancing. I don't think cowgirl is your thing. No. By paring down the clothes and moving them out of the way, I can now get down to work with the two of them. Now, Duncan, I know that the majority of this stuff is Anna Marie's. We've already established that. Mm -hmm. But I need your participation here because I want to create a space for the both of you. Great. Okay? Great. What's going to be the fate of this cradle? Are you using it right now besides using it for storage? I'm just using it right now for storage. Okay, and what about this? So that's my uh, father's graduating high school class. It's not going to be in here? No. For no. Sure. No. So we'll have to find another home for that. This is everything that we have to go through and make decisions. And here are the decisions, okay? You're either going to donate it, you're going to toss it, or anything that I hear you say, I need it, is gonna go in here. No way. <laughs> those, are, those are penguin slippers for Christmas gifts. So this is need? Yeah. Do you need that? I do. Okay, so let's toss that. Combination lock. Duncan. Need. I need that. You need it, okay. Yeah. Now, I'm curious how the kids' artwork ends up in here. The thing with the bedroom is it's only you that sees it. You can shut the door. The guest room, you know, you have to keep it lovely for your guests. Who says? I don't know. It's just a thing I... I guess I say. <laughs> I'm seeing too many things here that are not about them. I've got to help Anna Marie and Duncan focus on what's really meaningful. My role here is to show you how important it is that the two of you honour your special space, which is your master bedroom. Because from now on, I don't want you guys to put anyone above yourselves and each other. Okay. Are you willing to do that? Because that's a yeah. big shift. That and is I a big shift. That's a whole priority shift. Adjusting priorities is difficult, but they have to do it in order to make changes in their space and their relationship. I want to take you back to that romantic time when you guys met. Because my plan is to reignite that in this bedroom. 
not today while I'm here. <laughs> After the reveal when I go. Okay. okay, so here's what I want you to do. I've spread out all the boxes and I want you to start going through the boxes and find maybe some memories uh, of the two of you together. Maybe when you've gone away and, and brought some trinkets back or, you know, pictures of when you guys were dating. Something like that that has special meaning. Got one. What do you got? I don't think we're in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> Keep looking. <laughs> okay, did you guys find anything? No. 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 Okay. No. So if I could get you guys to dig that up for me before I leave, I'm gonna do something really special. Because I think it's very telling that you don't have anything in all this stuff that reminds you guys of your relationship together when you first met, uh, through your courtship, and even now. I want to bring that back into this room. I want you to say goodbye to it. It's out of your bedroom and never to be back. Anna Marie and Duncan's bedroom is out of control. Not only is all of this clutter bearing their space, it's also hiding their relationship find maybe some memories uh, of the two of you together. I need to help them clear the way and get moving in the right direction. Good, Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? What's going up? I need to know if you found your memorabilia. We have found our memorabilia. You did? Great. Yeah. That is a picture of us when we were at Lake Louise. Wow, look at that. Anything else? We've got a couple of photo albums from when we were dating and our oh, wedding and great. Let's have a look. early marriage. Okay. So when you guys look at these photos of when you were dating, what does it make you feel like? A lot of good memories. We haven't looked at these for a for long a while. time. Yeah. This is what I want to reignite. These feelings if in you this don't. room. So now that we have the inspiration, I want to use that to plow through everything else in this room. And I hope that you see what I'm trying to accomplish here. Do you? Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. I think the end goal will be really nice. By getting back in touch with their relationship, Anna Marie and Duncan are now motivated to work together to reclaim their space. So say goodbye to it, it's never coming into your bedroom again. Okay, bye bye crew. Water crew. What do you wanna do with these? They're donate? Right. Donate, yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Why don't we donate it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> okay. Let's donate it. We need to Yay! <laughs> I want to congratulate you. You have made a breakthrough. <laughs> With the clutter moving out, I can focus on turning this space into a romantic retreat. Here's my plan for the space. Over here, I'm going to place their bed. It'll be an area for sleeping and for winding down. I'm going to bring in a couple of dressers. And now this area here will be more of a lounge area. So I'm going to bring in some comfy seating and a cabinet to house their special mementos. Now I have solutions for key items that will make it easy for them to stay neat and organized. I noticed that you guys have a lot of magazines, but before you had them all over the floor around your bed and in boxes and bins tucked away. The whole idea here is to limit the amount of magazines that you save by containing them. This is actually a wine rack. But instead of wine bottles going in the slots, I've put the magazines. And this just sits on a shelf and you can uh, label it with the different magazines. So it keeps them very organized and easily accessible yet out of the way. This I love. It's a ladder and so it takes advantage of the vertical space while not taking up a lot of floor space. I've got something else to show you. Follow me. Okay. Now, I noticed that you had your out of season clothes mingling with your current season clothing. Yeah. So I love these because you can see through them and you can put a couple of sweaters in here. These look like tea bags, but they're fragrant insect repelling herbs to protect your clothes and keep them fresh smelling. Wanna smell? Nice, eh? They it smell smells nice. like tea. And these are great also because they stack. And just like that. So now, when you come in here, the only clothes you're going to see are the ones you're currently wearing this season. And your out-of-season clothes are up out of the way, but easily accessible when you need them. 
Sounds great. That sounds really good. With the rest of the clutter on its way out and the room empty, we can start fresh. Well, guys, you rose to the challenge. Fantastic work. And when you come back, you're going to be so pleased. Are we? Yes, you are. I just <laughs> need the key. Here you go. See ya. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're Good welcome. Course. Bye. We're just starting to make over the space. This bedroom is going to be a relaxing oasis they'll want to spend time in, but there's lots of work ahead. Wow. That was amazing. Wow. Anna Marie and Duncan's bedroom was cluttered and chaotic. After 12 years of marriage, they needed a change. This room to me looks abandoned. Why would you do that to a space that's so personal? You tend to put yourselves last. By shifting priorities and letting go of everything that was in the way, they made great progress. Okay, why don't we donate it? Yay! Now they can look forward to a neat space that's all about them. I'm very excited to see what it's going to look like. It feels like the hard part is over. I'm kind of nervous to see what happened. And I'm hoping we have a room that we can really enjoy and spend time together. In. How you doing? Great, how are you? Hi. Great. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Go on up. OK. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> this, this is, is really gorgeous. Cool. This is pretty it's cool. It's beautiful. The clutter was getting in the way of the bedroom's function and intimate feel. Now it's a romantic space that even honeymooners would envy. It's incredible. I just, I could not have envisioned this. It's almost two rooms, really. Now we have a bedroom and then an area to hang out in. So, you know, it's great. You've got it exactly. That was my plan, is to have an area here where you can just cozy up on the couch, put your feet up on the ottoman, and then have a retreat at this end where you can relax and be romantic and, you know, who knows what. <laughs> <laughs> the bed was surrounded by a sea of clutter, making it difficult to rest. Now it's warm, comfortable, and clutter-free. You see how much more inviting this bed is? It just shows you a place where you can sleep, relax. You don't have all that visual clutter keeping you up at night. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. This area was unusable before. I've turned it into a cozy sitting nook and given them a place to honor their precious mementos as a couple. Now, this bookcase is the home for your romantic reminders. Remember I had you gather up all the items that reminded you of times that you've spent together as a couple? Well, I've compiled it into this container. Beautiful. It's our picture of us in Lake Louise. Yeah. And down here, your photo albums. That's wow. Great. That's great oh, that's great. And there's your magazine ladder. I like that. You always want to store things near the place that you're going to use them, so you don't have all these extra steps. OK, let me show you the closet. So check out your closet. Wow. <laughs> Come oh, on it's, in. It's beautiful. This closet was jammed and misused. Now it's streamlined and fully functional with proper homes for all the seasonal items. I wanted to put some things in the cubbies to inspire you to use them much more than you were already using them, and also to encourage you to utilize all the space up there. Well, with just a little bit of purging and a few adjustments here and there, you got yourself a new closet. It's amazing. I love it. You guys were really stuck with all that clutter in here. And I wanted to give you a space that you could retreat to and spend time together as a couple. And you were so great about paring down and about finding those items that were real treasures to you and held a lot of memories of the times that you spent together. So I was able to give this to you and I hope that you guys like it and that you'll spend lots of fun times in here. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> With this space cleared and transformed, Anna Marie and Duncan have a place to celebrate their relationship in luxury and style. I feel great about our space from the paint to the where the furniture has gone and, and creating two different spaces has been pretty cool. We focus so much on our parenting and doing the right thing for our kids that we really lost sight of 
doing the right thing for our relationship. We have to be strong first before we can be good parents. Oh, 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 o